Ahoy mates and welcome to another episode of my blind bag ship series. Let's go ahead and select six blind bags or boxes to open and you know I love my pirates so I have this Funko Soda of Jean Lafoot who is the arch nemesis pirate of Captain Crunch. Yes, if you didn't know that, <laughs> that's that's fun history and you have a chance of a chase and of course he's part of the ad icon series that Funko does which I love. And then let's grab another sort of uh, ad icon product, wacky packages, but they're more of the irreverent version, which that's that's fun. They're a good time. And then I have a remit blind box, some little mini food collection, the chocolate sweets collection with little mascot characters. Those are cute. And then over here we have a recycling's plastic capsule made from recycled material. Oh, and then on this side, let's dig down here and grab oh wow a Shopkins food fair those are going way back and then on this side let's go down here all the way down what is this <laughs> oh we have a squinkies mystery villa that also goes way back I have our captain and of course bloopers so we are ready to begin and let's grab our irreverent wacky packages these are a lot of fun and I already see creature crackers up top. <laughs> and I found these at Five Below. Five Below has a very nice selection. What's really cool about Wacky Packages um, is that they're all hard plastic containers, which I love. So here we go. Sunstroke, <laughs> creature crackers. I like the T-Rex. That looks fun. Like I totally eat those in, in real life. And of course, they're a play on the sunshine crackers, those classic crackers. So I like sunstroke. It's just, it's, you shouldn't laugh, but you do laugh at, at it. It's kind of, kind of funny. And then you get a sticker. So we have the duck, duck and hide. That's, that's a fun one. I think I have that as an actual thing. And then we have all our little blind bags inside, which you get four blind bags and then the checklist and another advertisement there. Okay. So so these are always a little hard to tear open. There we go. And our next one is Sneer. <laughs> it's the ill-tempered laundry detergent. You'll have an ill-tempered Sneer before you do your wash load. Very nice. Next up, another hard, large one. Oh, it's Tix. I love the cereal ones. I'm trying to collect the cereals. I mean, we have Jean Lafitte over there. I do like a good old fashioned cereal. <laughs> Tix is a duplicate, but poor, poor rabbit. Okay. Our next one is Polydent. Keep your parrot's teeth sparkling. It's for the birds. What? So I guess going off of the denture thing, that bird looks, looks spooky. Some, some of them are, are spooky and creepy and gross, but still a fun time. Oh, and then the last one is the Sludge Sickle Sludge Pops. We've seen this one a few times, which in real life, those fudge sickles are so delicious. Okay, let's go on to another food item, but with Shopkins Food Fair going way back. But this was cool because you could get repaints of season one figures. So they're not blind bags in this, in this set. Some were, some weren't. So we have a little croissant and I believe it was from season three. So I guess you could get season one, two or three figures. And then, whoopsies, our next one. Oh yay, this is a season two. It's the little peppermint. And this one always had such a cool paint design, more authentic to a little peppermint swirl candy. Okay, so that was kind of a trip down memory lane. Let's continue that vibe with our Squinkies Dewdrop Mystery Villas. So I like the OG Squinkies, and then they came out with these, which weren't the same, but you know, it was it was cute. It had a short run. And you get, okay, so you get that, and then here's your mystery figures inside. So our first one is a cow. So these were not squishy like regular squinkies, but that cow, mm, that's pretty cute. That's, that, that's a cute cow. And then we have a little fairy and they have like the pegs in back to put like the hat or the hair. 
And then this one is our hair accessory. So it looks like we have some purple pigtails, which we'll just put on our fairy. So yeah, <laughs> not feeling that part, but the minifigures are pretty cute. And then let's finish off this side of the Jolly Roger with our recycling capsule. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> and you get one little mystery recycling inside. Again, they're made from 70% recycled bottle caps. So inside, and why am I always bad at opening this? I think you just turn it. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay, so you turn it, I think, counterclockwise to unscrew it. Good to know. And inside, oh, we have this little guy in a go-kart looking pretty competitive <laughs> which is really cute i like the facial expression he is determined that's how i look playing mini golf so he cute okay and just like that we're down to our final two i'm gonna save our soda for last so let's open our chocolate sweets remit which has the cute little mascots and i'm blanking on the name like paiske something like that you guys will have to let me know but there are eight different ones in the series they're all themed to sweet treats look at the chocolate termesu that would just be delicious in real life and this is a little bit of an older set too so let's see who we get oh my goodness we got the termesu right it's the bunny shaped one yes it is okay that's that's perfect let me cut this open First up, you get the gold fork with the bunny mascot. And then on the package, it shows like the cream and chocolate piece attached to the fork. Unless it just goes like so. I'm not sure, but it doesn't snap in. Sometimes they do. Sometimes you can just balance it like so. And then here is our main piece. It comes on this plate. Your little bird friend is a separate piece that just kind of sits in there. There's a nice spot for him has a little sprig of mint. I love the cocoa powder texturing on the termesu, which looks awesome. That little guy's really cute too. Again, I don't remember their names, but nicely done. And that looks quite delicious. That's a fun little, little series. And then the last up from one pirate to another, we have our Funko Soda from the Ad Icon series. This is Jean Lafoot, who is Captain Crunch's nemesis, which I, I didn't know. And you have a chance of finding the chase. I would like to find the common because he's in his traditional outfit. The can's a little dented. And overall, it was a run of 7,500 pieces. So don't have Captain Crunch. I think he goes for a lot. <laughs> I'm, alas, a little late to the soda game. I guess kind of at the right time, there are some older ones that are a little bit more rare and hard to find, but I'm, I'm glad I'm joining when, when I am. Okay, so here's our figure. Here's some fun sounds with our pog. We'll take a look. And inside... Yes, we have the classic common. There's just a color variation on the chase, but I like the common color. Has the skull and crossbones. <laughs> he looks fun and fierce. He has the earrings, the sword. <laughs> and he is a very nice, a solid figure. He has some like Batman and Robin colors going on with the red, green, and yellow. And look at him on the package. Oh, that's, that's fun. And then here's the Pog. Cool, you get the classic artwork piece. And then there you go. One out of 6,300, the remaining pieces would make up the, the chase. And here's a comparison where I have a Funko Pop and a Funko Soda, both, both captains, both side by side. But these are a solid plastic with no movable parts. And then these have the solid bodies, but the hollow heads and usually their heads turn. So just a different variety and art style, but I think it's a really cool concept to expand the Sunco, the Sunco, the Funko line with pops and then the other type of pop, which is soda, which I know is kind of an East Coast, West Coast thing. Um, I always call it soda, but some people call it pop. Let me know what you call it. Do you grab a can of soda out of your fridge or a can of pop? <laughs> 
prying, prying minds want to know. And here's another look at everything we opened today. You guys will have to let me know which was your favorite item. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. As for me, I gotta choose our other pirate, Jean Lafoot. They actually did a really good job. I love his skull and crossbones. It's cute. And one day, maybe I will find a Captain Crunch secondhand to go with Jean Lafoot. <laughs> So that'll do it for this week's episode of my Blind Bag Ship series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.